Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Ubuntu Linux operating system. Process is same on all Ubuntu operating systems. First open any web browser, go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See PostgreSQL 17 is released. This is the stable version. So click on download. Then select the Linux, then click on Ubuntu, then see here PostgreSQL APT repository supports the current versions of Ubuntu 24, 23, 22 and 20. LDS versions. Okay. So we have to run these commands one by one. So copy the first command that is it is going to install curl and CSS. Okay. So open terminal, paste it, hit enter, provide the password of pseudo user. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. It's done. Now install the pjdg. Copy it. Run these commands one by one. Hit enter. Then copy this one. Paste it. Hit enter. Then create the configuration file. Copy this line from starting to up to end. Copy it, paste it, hit enter. It is a success. Now update the packages. Control L to clear screen, sudo apt update. Hit enter. I am going to upgrade also. Control L to clear screen. Now install the PostgreSQL sudo. See here, command is sudo apt install PostgreSQL. sudo apt install PostgreSQL. If you don't give the version, it will install the latest version. If you give the version like 16, it will install the 16. If you give 15, it will install the 15. If you give 14, it will install the 14. So I am not going to provide any version, so it will install the latest version that is PostgreSQL 17. Hit enter. See, it is going to install PostgreSQL 17. See here, it is going to install PostgreSQL 17. Okay. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed PostgreSQL. Control L to clear screen. Now verify status of PostgreSQL sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hit enter see PostgreSQL service is running and it is enabled q to git now connect to PostgreSQL server sudo su hyphen PostgreS psql see here 17 but 17 is not the version of the PostgreSQL server it is the psql client version to verify the server version you have to run the command select version See, we have installed PostgreSQL 17 on Ubuntu machine. Q to quit, control L to create screen. Now, after connecting to PostgreSQL server, is server, the first step is we have to set the password for Postgres user. That is the SOAP user. Alter user before that verify the list of the users. Slash du. See, we have only one user that is the SOAP user. So, set the password for this user. Alter user Postgres with password set the password we have successfully set the password now create a database before that verify the list of the databases comes with postgresql installation see we have these three databases comes with installation of postgresql let's create a database a database arctoscopes verify again see we have this new database Q to quit, control L to clear screen. Let's connect to this database and create table. We can use backslash C or connect both are same. Then give the database name. Now create a table, create table student assignment.
verify list of tables see here we have the table student and it's only first guess let us insert some data into this table insert before that verify the data select star from student see we don't have any data so insert some data try to give the same s number but change the s name see we got the duplicate key violation error because we have defined s number as primary key see we have defined s number column as primary key if we define a column with primary key it won't allow duplicate values so we have received this error so we have to give non existing values of the column we have successfully inserted now verify the data. Control L to clear screen. Select star from student. Put semicolon. See you have this data. But notes here. If we use star, it retains all column values of the table. But if you want only particular column values, you have to use S name. S name from student. But still, if you want only the particular S name column, you have to use select star from student. Okay, so this is the way. If you want to see the list of the configuration files information, so config underscore file. See, this is the configuration file, server level configuration file, location, and file name. If you want to see the HBA conf file, give HBA underscore file. This file contains host based authentication rules information of for the users and databases. Now let us create a user slash du. See this is the user exists. Let us create a user, create user James with password now connect to it versus equal with this user. To exit from this PSQL you use the backslash Q. Now PSQL hyphen H localhost hyphen d then provide existing database name then hyphen caps you then new user name james then provide the password of this user now switch to r2 schools now try to create a table create table test one snm int c permission denied for the schema public because this user doesn't have the privileges to create or modify or add anything in this database. For that, I have made a video how to grant and revoke permissions on a database in PostgreSQL Server. You can go through it and you can grant the privileges. To exit Q, now we will see how to stop, start and restart PostgreSQL on Ubuntu machines. Exit from this user. Now stop it. sudo systemctl stop PostgreSQL. Hit enter. Now verify the status sudo systemctl status postgres equal see postgres equal is stopped q to quit now try to connect to postgres whenever it is stopped sudo su hyphen postgres psql see we are unable to connect because it is not started so let us start it but with postgres user we cannot start exit now start it again sudo systemctl start postgres equal hit enter now verify the status see we have successfully started and it is active and running q to quit control to clear screen now we will see how to restart the postgres equal server sudo systemctl restart postgres equal Verify the status. See PostgreSQL restarted one second ago. Q to quit. Until now, we have connected to PostgreSQL by using PSQL client. If you want to connect by using GUI tool, that those, we have the pgadmin and dbweaver. We can install pgadmin by going to pgadmin.org. Then 
here we have to click on download then we have to select apt then scroll down then we have to run these commands i have made any video how to download and install pg admin on ubuntu you can go through it and you can install it also db you can it is also a gui tool for the for the databases dbweaver.io see here we have the community and db pro editions you can download and install it i will keep both the links how to download and install dbweaver and pgadmin on ubuntu machines you can go through them and install it okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgresql 17 on ubuntu operating systems for more postgresql or ubuntu or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you